Hey, what's going on? Yo, Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Ostap's winter scene. Now, I came across Ostap maybe two years ago when I first saw his Blender Archivist work. He's freaking phenomenal. And what's cool about this guy is that he's transitioned to Unreal Engine. And it's pretty cool to see, you know, his progress from coming from Blender to Unreal Engine. And this is his latest work, which is the winter scene you're looking at right now. Uh, that being said, I have my controller here. I'm going to try and use it. So there's like no options in it at all, except for like the flashlight. I can turn it on and off. So I guess we can leave that off for now because we don't need it. But uh, yeah, let's go check this out. It looks pretty cool. Now again, you're probably going to notice that the camera is... This is a little bit too much, and, and the sound is, you know, a little bit too much also, but this is an Arcvis person, you know, creating a playable gameplay, so I could cut him some slack a little bit. Pretty cool. I'm trying to determine if the buildings are like photogrammetry because they look kind of like photogrammetry if I get closer to it. Oh, he's got a blocking volume right here. Okay, we can't go past this. That looks like photogrammetry, which is really interesting with all that nerf stuff coming out. I think nerf, once they increase the textures in nerfs like Luma, it's going to get good. Because right now the textures are pretty low still. But they're so quick. Like getting them done, getting them, getting nerf is so easy. Alright, so this is cool. Honestly, I wish I wish the uh I wish it was a little bit more darker, in my opinion. It is really bright. It is a well lit street, I I guess. I wonder if these are the uh, mega scans assets because I know they have some really nice snow areas. I'm actually using them right now to create my little UEFN racing map in the snow. So I know they have one just like this. I wonder if he used that. And I try not to look up too much information about these because I want to guess them first, see if I get it right. Pretty accurate right there. Yeah, poop on the ground. It's a nice touch, man. Nice windows. That's one of the hardest things to do when you're doing night scenes. Are like window lights. That's why people are always making stuff during the day. <laughs> okay. There's no map or anything, so... Uh, as far as the 4090 goes, it's running pretty well. It's nice. I can already, like, tell a story just by walking around here. Like, imagine, I don't know, your car broke down and, you know, you look inside the car and your daughter's missing. And now you have to, like, find her in this abandoned city, looks like. It's just a quiet little city. You can tell so many stories in environments. That's why I like... Whenever I try to tell a story, I start in an environment first. Because their environment will tell you, like, everything you need to know about your story. I go... I do, like, everything backwards. I find environments, and then I write the story in them. 
Because in real life, you usually do like script, then location scouting. This could be a cool um, shooter map, to be honest. Now, this snow right here reminds me of the snow blueprint that I made a video about on the channel. Because it looks like... Kind of looks like cream. You know? You have some lumen flakers over there. You can see it on the, the shadow area. Yeah, this is... You got some lumen symptoms, symptoms in this one. Alright, I feel like I just went around in circles. Yeah, so that's that's pretty... This is pretty bright. I wish you would have made it a little bit darker. But I do like how small it is. And honestly, you put this in Yuya Fan, and this this is a playable map. I'm just trying to press buttons to see if we have anything else. Looks like we have we have like a jump. If I press A, but it's jumping. It's like jumping like me in real life. Like you can't even jump on the bench. So that vertical needs some work. It's like a baby jump. See, watch. Huh. It's like a hop. Yeah, this is interesting. Oh, man. Oh, stop. Can you make, like, a darker version of this, man? Yeah, there's a blocking volume here, too. So it's, it's just a pretty small, small area. Man, I gotta, I gotta, like, my goal this year is, like, to be this good. But creating photorealistic environment, even kit bashing them is, is, oof. That's another beast, man. But yeah, I think that's it. Can we switch it to, this is morning? Is this morning time right now? Does it make sense? Looks like the morning is brighter than the night. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Now that's a little bit darker. Man, I want to go to the gas station. It's so crazy though. I feel like decrease the resolution of this video right now on YouTube and like show it to someone. They'll be like, wow, where's that? Because this could get pretty realistic, especially if you're watching it in a small screen. Oh, here's a little area. Oh, it's so dope. Like, that poop is, like, steaming hot. That is attention to detail right there. That's so good. Oh, man. Oh. I was kind of expecting a jump scare here. But I don't think we're going to get any. Yeah, with the lights turned off and the exponential height fog, volumetric height fog, I mean, we're getting like 90 frames per second. And it's like running 4K. Alright, I'm gonna try to see if there's anything else I missed here. But if not, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to check it out because I love, I love training my eyes to like photorealism. Blocking volume here, right? Yeah. This would be cool, like 5v map. Like 5v5 map or something. A lot of places to hide. It'd be a fun map, man. You should try importing it to EFN. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It doesn't really go around much. Just in a little square area. Yeah, let me know what y'all think. 
I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.